This place really is a time capsule. Uh, lots of personal documents. Look at this, it's all the same guy. So you found his purse? Yeah, I think so. And this one is soldier card, I would say. Look at the writing, it looks like it's, art. It's 1849? It's crazy, there's so much in this cover. Look at this, for example. You remember this one? Yeah, on the pictures we saw of this place, it was still locked. Do you think they invested in gold explorations, gold mines? It's a big alarm system. This is like ammunition. Right in the nightstand. It's all bullets. Unused. spent our night on this glamorous path going to nowhere uh, because actually here in France almost everything is private property so it's very hard for us to find a, a nice little spot to camp. The night was very short because we had a long day of exploration and then we already checked out if the location we are about to do now is even possible to enter because this one is a bit tricky and we have the police actually in sight. So there is no room for mistakes. Now it's very early. We woke up about seven and uh, went to sleep about half past one in the night. So not much sleep, but uh, we're stoked for this exploration. We made it inside and I think no one saw us, or at least I hope so. We just um, put down our bag so we can move more, more freely and we now go around the house together with you. And this is the first room we entered, we went through this window and this actually looks like a guest room but I think it's, more, it's a pretty small room so it seems like there was a servant living here because it's actually right next to the kitchen. And look at this, this is pretty nice. You can get a feeling of this kind of place. So it's pretty vintage and I mean, you can really see that we just found a pretty nice time capsule. Look how distorted these analog photos are. This is a toaster. Mm -hmm. It's a kind of lit. Dann klappt zur Seite auf, das heißt, du legst die Scheibe rein mhm. und dann klappst du rein. Und das sind die Heizspiralen. Das zerfällt fast schon. Oh, krass. Ich mal dieses Geräusch an, wenn du die Seiten umblätterst. Today's exploration feels like a leap into the unknown. We couldn't find any information about this chateau veiled in silence, nor the family that once called this home. Vorne steht hier drauf, Kopie der Briefe oder so, 71, 73. To unravel this story, we have to investigate on site. Engaging with neighbors isn't an option. We move like ghosts, avoiding any unwanted attention. Our journey in the shadows reveals relics that time forgot, scattered throughout the eerie tranquility of this estate. There's so many nice pots made of clay and bowls. Holy cow. That's for chopping. <laughs> Looks kind of raw and it's heavy as hell. Still very sharp. Oh, amazing. <laughs> you know what this is? No, what's that? This is for squirting, I guess. Ah. I love those little kind of simply working but still clever machines. And these deserted homes, the air is thick with the untold. Every chamber has a canvas of memories left to fade. What happened to the family? And why was everything just left behind like that? 
The answers are elusive, hidden under layers of dust and decay. Okay, this is the living room. Did you find anything interesting here? Yeah, there's a drawer full of smoking stuff. There are still plenty of cigarettes left. They look like really old. Oh, those are the ones without filter even. It's not a lighter? Yeah. <laughs> Looks like a firing an old gun. <laughs> That Flintstone is like really overpowered. Gibt es noch? Maybe don't try it. There's the police next door. This stuff looks valuable to us, of course, but we've got no idea what valuable is and what not. But you can see that this place already was looted because of all these empty boxes. Uh, we find already some in the kitchen, and I'm sure if we go upstairs there will be more which uh, had jewelry in them. I'm not sure if this is silver though, but I doubt it. It's pretty heavy. It's very stylish glasses. <laughs> How is it working? Yeah, I start to talk with the French accent. No? No? It's the glasses. Today we decided to not give our advertisement slot to YouTube, but to do something in our own cause. You know it's gonna be Christmas very soon, and in case you're still looking for the right present, I've got a good recommendation for you which is our Urbex calendar 2024. It shows pictures from our best explorations from this year and tells little stories to each of them. Uh, you need to be quick though, because they're limited on stock. If you want to find out more about the calendar, feel free to visit our website. You can find the link in the video description down below. Now let's get back to the exploration. This is the first upper floor. Damn, so many rooms. That's the main bathroom. Not as impressive as the other parts of the building. Soap is still here as well. And you are afraid of me playing piano, but you're flushing the toilet. <laughs> uh, that's another sleeping chamber. It's a nice wallpaper. Very religious. And there's, oh, damn, there are even some old coins. They're from 1918. There's another little Jesus. Here you finally can see some real decay. The whole ceiling is crumbling, falling apart. This place really is a time capsule. It's crazy, there's so much to discover. 
Look at this, for example. As we venture into abandoned houses, we are unveiling glimpses of the lives that once unfolded within these walls. Furniture and personal belongings left behind allow us intimate insights and serve as a poignant reminder of the transient nature of life. Oh, shine your light here. It's a wedding dress. Are they always that stiff for like the most important day of your life? <laughs> Then it feels like a piece of card. It doesn't feel comfortable. I think that's the dress. Yeah, I think that's the dress. See those round elements right here? Mm -hmm. Round the neck. This one's looking different. And with those round elements, if you take a look at this. Yeah, it's here too. Look what I found right next to this alarm system. First of all, it's a big alarm system. And right here. Life ammunition. And they're still looking pretty good. This is life ammunition. Right in the nightstand. And quite a few. It's all bullets. Oh yes. Yeah. Unused. Those ones are smaller. There's a bigger one. You remember this one? Yeah, on the pictures we saw of this place, it was still locked. But someone opened the safe. Mm -hmm. Oops. There are documents inside. Maybe it's the document which says he's owning the place or something. Look, look at the writing. It looks like it's, art. It's 1849. Why not? Maybe the family purchased purchased this property back then. It looks legit. So many sensitive documents lying around just scattered on the floor. We have a passport. What's the date of birth? It's 23rd of January 1906. More than 100 years ago. Mm -hmm. So this person is not alive anymore. And it's expiring 1987. Ah, we can check the visas. Uh, driver's license. Same woman. We have the staple of old vintage paper. Hundreds of them. Bearer of this warrant is the proper proprietor of one fully paid up share numbered above in the capital of the Comtlery Copper and Gold Exploration Company. Do you think they invested in gold explorations, gold mines? This is Comtlery Copper and Gold Exploration. This is Automobiles Belange of Frère. This is manufacture the bull. Then we have more automobiles. Um, and I guess it's simply stocks in an old fashioned way. With coupons you cannot replicate. I'm still not sure how it works with the coupons. Maybe redeem the coupons at the bank or something. Maybe it's an exchange for a product? We are left with a mystery. If you have any idea what we just found, please share your thoughts in the comments. To us, they appear to be vintage stock certificates, each holding a piece of history. Originating from various corners of the globe, some of these documents are over a century old. We wonder what these shares are worth in today's world. They are all yeah, there's more. But what may have held an even greater value for the departed owners was their extensive collection of cheese tags. 
This person has to know a lot of cheese. Apparently, gathering the round labels of French Camembert is a nationwide passion. Yeah, it's the most French thing you can find here. Actually, it's very cool to see how the design has changed over the years. Yeah, it's all vintage. Oh. We found the legacy. Ah, holy fuck, there's a crawl. I see. It wants to go inside. It wants to go inside. Or is it maybe a warning from the police? What's... What? It's knocking at the window. Should we open? Yeah, I go answer it. But it was open. Was the window open when we arrived? Okay, I'm trying to communicate. Yes, it worked perfectly. <laughs> It's gone. Yes. What was it doing? There's nothing here. Look, I found the legacy. Oh no, there are even more. Maybe the tragic story is that she died before she could do them in the album. Or collect all of them. Would be very sad. There's one more floor going up. Probably the attic. Oh, this is huge. It's very nice. Found lots of interesting stuff. Check this out. Fortunately, the lever is broken. It's not functioning very well. So maybe if uh, one of you guys know how the game is working, I would love to know. It looks so cool. I wonder how old it is. Apparently it's a children's game centered around betting on horse races. If you bet on the right horse, you get more points than the other players. It's perfect if you want to introduce your kid to gambling. Lots of personal documents. This is driver's license. ID card. And this one is a soldier card, I would say. Kartikobantang. Look at this, it's all the same guy. So you found his purse? Yeah, I think so. Such objects left behind become artifacts of a bygone era telling a silent tale of the former residents' daily lives. There's a date, which is 1897. There's a signing of the Minister of Agriculture. Delving into the documents we found, the covered narrative unmasks. The elderly gentleman was a diligent farmer, tending to the cattle on his vast property. In contrast, the roots of his wife can be traced back to a family steeped in wealth and history. That's nice. There's some dias here. Maybe we can see some of the people who were living here. The almost untouched state of this luxury manor offers an in-depth look into the unpredictable twists of life. Following the death of its elderly occupants decades ago, all that endures are cherished mementos frozen in time. This is in this house, no? This home once was bustling with generations. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think so, the, the living room. room. Yeah. But today it sits empty and forsaken, with the tapestry peeling and dust settling in. Yeah, for sure. This is the big room with the, sh with the bookshelf and the dining table. Yeah, the main room downstairs. As we conclude our exploration of these haunting corridors, we're left with more questions than answers. Often the silent decay of such buildings can be attributed to the steep inheritance taxes in France. Join us in the comments below with your thoughts, theories and any insights you might have on the mysterious tale of this overlooked chateau. To us, this is a poignant tableau of a story left unfinished, waiting to be retold, but most likely lost in time. All right, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the exploration of this abandoned chateau. Don't forget to check out our Urbex calendar 2024 if you want to have one for yourself or as a present.
With your purchase, you're supporting us in our project and help us to preserve even more of these forgotten places. See you next time and keep exploring.